Hello, I'm Jim Hudson. I did the DocFot course between the years of 86 and 88. Um, this is my first go at editing video, so um, apologies if it's a bit cheesy, but um, let's have a go anyway. Um, yeah, I did the DocFot course, um, 86, 88. Fantastic. Uh, first year, incredibly intense. Um, wouldn't have missed it for the world. Um, it done an awful lot for me. Uh, I was on the dole beforehand uh, for many years, in and out of rather pathetic, mundane jobs. <coughs> um, I got on this course, um, a bit of a miracle really, considering um, I thought I'd uh, messed it all up. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned as one of my favourite photographers has been Clive Langdon, um, and it was actually Clive Landon, and he was on the interview panel. Uh, <clears throat> so he obviously took pity on me, and I still did the course. Um, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do the course was I was a hunt saboteur and uh, for a few years beforehand and saw the value of photography um, during that when you would get beaten up or something like that and if they were pressed or somebody there with a camera it would you know stop them stop the people from beating you up the hunts people um, also as evidence as some of the horrible things that they could do um, if you could get it into the media would would help things and also help recruit recruit people into uh, the hunt sab movement um, so all in all I thought let's sort of learn how to do this properly and um, maybe I could put it to good use in other ways as well. Um, so luckily I got on the course, um, started doing person at work and so forth and went on from there. Sometimes when I'm taking pictures of people um, I, I hone in on their eyes. I find their eyes are very important, very emotional uh, and when uh, you look at, you meet people for the first time it's often the eyes that you look at first of all um, to find out what kind of person they are, what kind of uh, emotional state they're in. Um, you know, people say they're windows to the soul and things like that. Um, actors are often uh, told to act with their eyes. Uh, people look at their eye at people's eyes first and foremost when communicating. Um, so I think when you're uh, trying to uh, create a photograph, um, that you want to move people, you want to uh, um, create an emotion in a human being when they're looking at the photograph thing. Um, I, I find personally that the eyes are very important um, and the photograph thing would need needs no explanation, no paragraph of words. Um, you can just look at the photograph and know what's going on. After finishing at Newport, I moved back to London and started working for uh, anywhere I could, made a little magazine called City Limits, um, a timeout kind of thing, um, very much political. Um, I started there, uh, one or two other magazines, and then the Sunday Telegraph um, and Greenpeace UK. Uh, had a great time, obviously, working with those, uh, trying to build up clients, always freelance. Um, went on to Greenpeace International, um, The Observer, and Frank Spooner Pictures. Um, which was a picture agency now closed, uh, but through them uh, gained access to Gamma, which was an international picture agency. So I then went on to do um, international news stories as, as well as the ones in the UK. Um, obviously had a great time, usually going to the uh, rougher parts of the world. Um, not salubrious, but don't believe what they say about the all five star and all this sort of stuff. It's nonsense. Um, you sleep pr uh, you know, pretty rough, you have to live in rough conditions, um, and you have to push yourself quite hard to uh, get ahead of the game. Um, when it comes to news, you have to be one jump ahead of everybody else. Um, what I did find out was that reportage photography is very transferable. <clears throat> it's not only useful in news and magazine work, it's also useful in corporate and design and advertising. Uh, so I, I slowly moved over to shooting that kind of work, um, working for that kind of client. Uh, this is not anything like as much fun, but it's not such hard work either, um, and much better paid. These days I'm working with uh, commercial clients still and um, the occasional uh, personal project. Uh, at the moment I'm working on two uh, projects in the Basque country of Spain. Um, 
obviously I find shoot, being able to shoot my own projects in my own time uh, very pleasurable um, and um, I appreciate being able to keep going and keep shooting in the way that Newport taught me um, and it's uh, still holding my interest to this day. Well that's the end of my contribution. Um, felt obliged rather to do the video as Newport had done so much for me. Uh, it's the very least I could do. Um, changed my life into something much more than it would have been. Uh, anything I can, anything else I can do for Newport, I'd be only ha only too happy. Um, I understand the course is a bit different now, but times have changed, and there's not a lot we can do about it. Uh, but I hope it keeps going, and good luck to you all.